De La Cruz fly ball left center Bellinger going back and that one is gone another day with an extra base hit six in a row for Brian De La Cruz. I'll say he's seeing the baseball very well and he has found that really nice launch angle to go along with that exit velocity that he generates all the time and he has done some damage. He's quieted the crowd for just a moment. This is a swing and a high drive. That one deep to right field. He crushed this baby. It is way gone. He hit it totally out of here. Well that's a sweet way to get your first of the season. Will your Abreu smashing one out of PNC. But this is what they're looking for from Abreu. Getting that extension. He's got that whip and finish at the end. It's just catching it out in front a little bit more and driving it. And watch this baby go. There's a shot a high deep drive left field by Casas. Swinski going back back back. Kiss that one goodbye. Tristan Casas with number six. And here in the first inning in Pittsburgh the Red Sox are making PNC look mighty intimate two home runs to take a two nothing advantage. We might be up here a little high but this was a loud noise and missing that spot middle middle Casas Oppo Taco Bill in that out to right pretty well hit going back his sheets back to the wall it is gone three run opposite field home run for Alec Boehm. That just sounded like he got it. Don't stand up to hit the high fastball take your hands to it. It's exactly what Alec Boehm did. Here's the one one swung on belted deep down the right field line tore the wall up over and out for Abraham Toro. What a greeting for Tristan McKenzie as Toro connects on a second Oakland home run an early one nothing lead on the leadoff blast from Toro that will get your attention. <laughs> yes it will great way to start the road trip 10 game road trip home run for Toro. Simeon drives one deep left field that is gone another leadoff shot. Marcus Simeon goes yard to begin the night. It's one nothing Texas. Well, Marcus is very familiar with Chris Sale as we just pointed out. But for Chris Sale he misses fastball. It's 95 miles an hour down the middle. We know the Atlanta Braves have an electric leadoff hitter but so do the Rangers. That one's into the air left center field going back Benintendi it is gone. Another three run home run with two outs. If that wasn't deja vu all over again I don't know what is. He just flipped the side of the field. RBI machine. You can't tell me what looked for that breaking ball. He got it put it out the pass. First base runner they've had on is on a walk. There he goes. Driven to right field. Butler racing back on oh. the track. It is gone. A home run. I'll tell you what, that was a breaking ball he hit the other way, and that thing just kept carrying. And that is home run number three for Tyler Freeman. Give him 10 runs batted in on the air, and the Guardians take a two to one lead. Now, we, he can use that part of the ballpark very well, but that one just kept going. In the air to left field. That one's hooked. That one is gone. So a home run for Merrifield. It's his first homer of the year. His first homer, of course, in a Phillies uniform. And that's got to feel good for a guy that didn't have an extra base hit before tonight. Well, stroke that one to right field. Well hit. That one is back there, headed for the wall. And that ball is out of here. Home run. Rob Ref Snyder. His first home run of the season as he goes out to right center. Over that 379 mark, and the Red Sox have their third blast of the ball game. It is now five to nothing. Rock to left field, no doubt. Stevenson, second deck, and a 2-1 lead. Well, so much for our fly ball theory here in Cincinnati. This was a mammoth shot right here. Talked about how Tyler Stevenson has been squaring up the baseball. This ball is hit hard, deep left field. Travis Darno has given the Braves the lead. Darno with his first home run of the season. On a 3 2 pitch, he blasts it to left, and Atlanta leads 2 to 1. Well, there's no question this series is going to be matched by homers. Each team is going to use the home run ball as a, as a weapon against each other, and even though Andrew Heaney was starting to settle in, three strikeouts so far, 
He just missed with the fastball, and Darno blasted. Oh, this one swung on and belted by Rafaela. Back, back, back goes Sawinski, and it is gone into the seats. A home run. Number one for Rafaela. He touches them all. 407 feet to left. The Red Sox have been teeing off tonight. That is their fourth home run. Rafaela, who hit two home runs last year, his first of this season, and it gives the Red Sox a 6 0 lead. A ball roasted out to center by Riley Adams and see you later. Dubon the wall and the ball all got there at the same time. And the ball park is lit up in red. Let's go on Adams second of the year. I love it. Fastball middle of the plate 106 off the bat. That was an absolute ball. Twins hitting only 144 with runners in scoring position. Second lowest in all of baseball. Lornica swinging a drive into right field and deep. Back it goes and it is gone. 0 oh, 2 mistake and Larnick made him pay. And the Twins took a 2 1 lead. Big swing from Larnick. He's able to get the barrel to it. And on a night when the ball's not really traveling, that thing got out of here by a long way. There's a high shot back into right. Well tagged. That baby's going to get out of here. Richie Palacios hits one out at Yankee Stadium in front of friends and family and the Rays take a one nothing lead. How about that big smiles in the Rays dugout. So the young man from Brooklyn comes to the Bronx and hits a bomb and the Rays have a one nothing lead. What a moment. Wow. Martino, he's in the midst of a seven game hitting streak including tonight. He's 12 for his last 25. Kramer fires. Breaking ball socked deep to right field. Santander back, turns around, it's gone. Vinny Pasquantino gives the Royals a 1 0 lead. It's the Royals' first base runner, first hit, and first run, all with one swing. Go ahead. Shot from Travis Darno. He's looking to add another. Darno goes yard for the second time tonight. 440 feet. To make it 3 1 Atlanta. Well, Darno, his last of bat, hit the first home run of the season for himself. And this time, he wastes no time. Austin Riley goes, Ooh, That's pretty good. I like that. First pitch swinging, second deck. Andrew Heaney was starting to settle in. This is just an off speed pitch that gets caught out in front. A little home run dirt. Well hit to left. Ward can't get there. That's gone. Opposite way in a big way. A three run shot. And the major pad for the Reds. His sixth of the year makes it a six run edge. Well, we talked about these Reds being able to hit the ball the other way. Rock. Deep right field. Goodbye. Wow, did that get out of here in a hurry. A two iron down the right field line, and Josh Naylor. As a team high five home runs. Home run number five for Josh Naylor. I'll tell you what, that ball was smoked. Line drive right field. He started running hard, and I'm thinking to myself, no need. That thing got out in a hurry. Drill deep to right field. There it goes. See ya. A long home run for the amazing Soto. And the Yankees lead five to one. That gives him 20 RBIs on the year, five home runs. What a start for Juan Soto. What a trade, what a player. A 1 0 fastball. It's in the second deck, and he knew it. He loves to play here, he loves this game. Such passion and incredible play. This one is hit well. Deep left center field. It is a grand slam for Travis Darno. His third homer of the night. And the Braves lead 7 to 3. So much for not having a home run coming into the night. Three of them, including a third career grand slam. What a night for Travis Darno. I mean, his swing tonight was locked in. He's been short, simple, just set. Truist Park on fire. That's launched towards left field. And oh, heading as a home run. That just caught inside the foul pole, and Brent Rooker has himself a homer. Welcome off the IL. Well, he leaned back. 
hanging slider. And you can watch Rook just absolutely punish this baseball. See it starting to work its way just behind the foul pole. Crushed. Speaking of crushed, Michael Harris adds a little insurance here in the eighth with a solo shot. And it's 8-3 Atlanta. That's good to see Money Mike get the bat head out. First pitch, off speed. This one in the air to center. It's well hit. And it's gone. Just beyond the reach of Merrill out in center field. And Justin Turner obviously likes it in here. He has his second of the season, and the Blue Jays have the early lead. Take a look at this swing, and it's a big ballpark, and he stays on it. It was away, and I don't know if he thought it was going to stay in the park or not, but it just snuck over the center field. Yeah, no, it's got to be Adley. The Orioles have left five on base tonight, and a runner picked off third. Rutschman tags it into left field. Well struck. Adley Rutschman. Melendez at the wall. It's over it. Grand slam Rutschman. And the Orioles with one titanic swing are right back in this thing. Come on now, kid. That's exactly what the birds needed right there. A big blow, and there's your big blow. We got a ball game now. First with two outs. Pasquantino moves over to second. And here's MJ Melendez. Tate's first pitch. Fastball socked. High and deep. Right center field. Santander turns. Watches it fly. It's out of here. MJ Melendez drills a three-run homer. The Royals take a 9-4 lead in the bottom of the seventh. And MJ Melendez back at Kauffman Stadium picks up where he left off at home. That's driven a deep right by DJ Stewart, and that ball is out of here. DJ Stewart on the first pitch from Yamamoto takes it out of the ballpark, and the Mets have the early 1-0 lead. Third for DJ. Well, we mentioned Marte jumping the first pitch to try and keep him from getting to the curve. DJ did the same, and he hits it into the pavilion to give the Mets the lead. Driven to left field. That is back. That is gone. The scoring begins on a home run by Fernando Tatis Jr., his sixth of the year. Padres are on the board. Thanks to Nando. Well, the slider has been one of the really good pitches. See the mislocation there? Rodriguez tries to go down the way, and Fernando takes it the other way, out of the yard. There's a fly ball hit to deep left field. Jorge Soler has the Giants' first home run at Oracle Park in 2024. Talked about it earlier, Wayne. You have to be a strong individual to be able to cut through the marine layer, and he can do it. That's exactly why they signed him to a massive deal to be that power threat. Every time a pitcher makes a mistake, he can let that thing sing with the best of him. He's a strong, strong individual. One for three in his career against Hudson. And he hits one deep to right center field toward the pavilion. That ball is out of here. Francisco Lindor with his second home run of the year. His first as a left-hand batter. A two-run shot of the Mets go right back in front. Six to four. He's been waiting for that for the last three weeks since the bell rang. Lindor finally got his best swing from the left side and put one in orbit to put the Mets back in. Drives this one out toward right field. Pretty deep. Slater is back, and that ball is gone. It's an opposite field grand slam for Blaze Alexander. And the Diamondbacks roughing up the Giants to the tune of 15 to 1.